Smart homes are becoming more and more popular. In fact, 68% of Americans think smart homes will be as common as smartphones within 10 years. But what are the risks of convenience? Tech expert Will Nobles is here to break it all down. Will, I'm so glad you're here. Smart homes are all the rage right now, but let's start from the beginning. What exactly is a smart home? Smart home is just a, a home that has technology in it. It's changed the way we interact with our homes today. It could be a, a Siri, it could be Alexa, it could be a Ring doorbell. Several things, it makes a smart home. Okay, now it can be a little scary for some people. So what exactly are the advantages of having a smart home? Yeah, the control. You can control it no matter where you're at in the world. Um, you know, hitting the button uh, and total control of your home. Then also you have the, um, the ability to change um, uh, the accessibility. To hit a button, you know, I, I've left my house before and said, oh man, I forgot to set the security system. I forgot to close the garage. I can just hit it on my phone and keep moving on. Accessibility. You can actually access it anywhere from your uh, laptop, your computer, no matter what country you're in, you can access your smart home. And then safety. The biggest thing is, is safety. I just had, uh, um, about two weeks ago, I had someone trying to break into my uh, uh, cars in my house and my ring doorbell actually showed that uh, and was able to uh, oh see goodness. them trying to do that. Oh my gosh, yeah. well thank goodness yeah. you have one. I think I need to go get myself a <laughs> ring doorbell. Yeah. Okay, so just like that, of course, there's gotta be some risks attached to these smart homes. I mean, we're all afraid of that big brother kind of feel of you know, Alexa and Siri always listening to our conversations. So what are the risks to having a smart home? Sure. I you know, one is the terms and conditions. I guarantee you when you got that iPad or, or your smartphone, I guarantee you didn't read the terms and conditions. Big Brother. No, I just and clicked the, agree. <laughs> exactly. And everybody does <laughs> Who's that. Who's got time to read all those terms and conditions? <laughs> exactly. So everybody does that, and the big companies know that. So definitely read those as much as you can, but be careful what you're getting yourself into. So what's in the terms and conditions that we're all missing? There's everyone has different things that they have in there. It's, it's crazy some of the verbiage that they have in there, like near about apocalypse uh, is coming and, and, and we're not held responsible. I mean, it's some crazy stuff in the terms and conditions. Okay, well, <laughs> if I wanted to get a smart home, there's gotta be some way to protect myself from all this big brother kind of thing. So what would you say, what are some tips to protect yourself? Sure, there's a million things you can do to protect yourself against a smart home. But one, changing your passwords. Make sure you change that modem that you get with your internet from your internet provider, that has a default password make sure you change that uh, as well as uh, putting a firewall in place that modem is just a dumb modem it helps to connect to the internet but put a firewall to protect your environment it's just like having a lock on your front door oh my gosh see like I have no idea if I've changed my passwords or changed my firewall this is I consider myself pretty techie and you know a digital guru but um, this is like a little bit over my head so for all <laughs> our viewers out there we've got some passwords to change yes. and um, but it's, it's nice I just got a Wi-Fi thermostat and I will be on the couch and right from my phone change the temperature and you know there's there's some perks to that. It, there is, uh, the, you know, the Nest thermostat is awesome, um, but it's easy for a hacker to hack into that Nest thermostat, jump over to your laptop, steal your credit card and banking information. <sighs> we don't want that. <laughs> oh, okay, well I've got some work to do at home and I hope you guys learned some tips too. So for more tech tips from Will, head to his website at willnobles.com and follow him on social media.